This is ABC 15 News. For the second time in less than two weeks, we've got a search underway in northern Arizona for a missing boy. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Katie Rammel. Authorities are looking for two-year-old Emmett Trapp. Sometime last night, he disappeared from his home in Dewey. That's east of Prescott. ABC 15's Brian Webb joins us live there. And Brian, we understand authorities say there are no signs the boy was taken. Not at this point. You know, this is a pretty remote area. There were no signs of any strange cars or people out here last night. In the meantime, though, deputies are checking cars that come and go, and they say they will check with known sex offenders in the area. Let me show you that picture of Emmett Trapp one more time. Two years old, three feet tall, 26 pounds. He has brown hair, blue eyes, last seen wearing a pajama top, a diaper with no shoes on. This is video from the scene this afternoon. There are helicopters here, guys on ATVs, deputies driving by by the dozens. The FBI is on the scene along with missing persons experts. Bloodhounds are on the way. Emmett apparently wandered away with his dog sometime after 7 last night when his mom was taking a nap. There were at least two other older children in the house at the time. When mom woke up, she couldn't find him. She looked around the house. The dog apparently came back, but not the boy. Since then, searchers have been looking through the night and the day everywhere from closets in the house to hiding spots out back and now to the rugged, hilly, brush-covered area that is surrounding the house, and they have had no luck. And we are fast approaching approaching the 24-hour mark. Time is of the essence, especially involving a two-year-old child. So absolutely, the, uh, the longer this takes, the more concern we get. But as we've indicated before, based on some uh, statistics and, and known prior cases, we've had two-year-olds survive out in wilderness areas up to 96 hours. All right, you're taking a live look from Air 15 above the scene here at, in the De Dewey Humboldt area. Apparently, uh, the parents are cooperating with investigators. There are no kind of custody issues involved with this in, uh, case like there was with Siler Newton last week. You remember he's the boy who wandered away or apparently was, went missing from a campground and is now presumed dead. At this point, authorities don't believe there's any connection between these two cases and, again, don't suspect any foul play, at least as of right now. We'll stay on the scene and bring you updates throughout the night and on ABC. 15.com. For now, live in Yavapai County, I'm Brian Webb, ABC 15.